Hey everyone, Brandon from Brandon's Baseball Cards here. I have got some stuff to show you guys, uh, some things that I've that have come in the mail, uh, and I'm going to actually be uh, busting open some packs here. Um, but first, I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of my recent uh, transactions that I've had. I've actually um, sold uh, quite, uh, quite, not quite a few, but a fair a number of rack packs that I had uh, in my collection. Um, what I really decided to do um, was, in, in addition to focusing the collection on some key players, I really just decided that I wanted uh, the, the kind of the less is more mentality. I, I would rather have, you know, 15 to 20 rack packs that are um, very high quality or very rare for whatever reason, uh, then just continue to, uh, you know, assemble more and more and more and, you know, get a much higher number of rack packs, but have, have them be not as uh, good a quality, right? Uh, so I actually just decided that um, a few weeks ago and I sold some stuff uh, and I used part of the funds for that, uh, not only to um, buy some more rack packs, uh, four of which are on their way from Baseball Card Exchange uh, as we speak. I got an email from Steve Hart yesterday that they've been authenticated. Uh, but I also put some cash away for the National. Uh, because this is, you know, as you, assuming we the National goes this year, right? Assuming this happens, which for the love of God and for the love of the hobby, and <laughs> I really hope it happens. It's been a long time to go. It's been a year and a half without a National and Damn it, that's long enough. Um, so assuming the national happens, you know, uh, it's good to have as much capital as possible. So I put some um, money towards that as well. So, you know, I, I try not to be, unless it's something really rare, you know, or something that I'm, I probably won't find again, like a couple of my Mattingly racks and this uh, 83 Tops Ripken rack that has the two Ripken showing, you know, unless it's something like that where the odds of me finding another one aren't very high. The rest of, you know, sometimes things can, things can be sold. You know, it just depends on what, what your collecting goals are and if your collecting goals change. Uh, and sometimes they change, you know, not always, you know, my general interests are the same, but I thought it would be good, you know, to maybe get some, to, to kind of revamp my collection a little bit. Uh, so with that being said, uh, I wanted to um, share with you a card that I got in the mail as part of a care package. I got this 83 Tops Ricky Henderson and, and a PSA 6 from Phil um, for the I Love Baseball Cards channel. I, I actually just talked about Phil in my last video, and then the very next day I got a care package from, from him. So <laughs> uh, the timing kind of worked out kind of funny, but I definitely wanted to uh, show this card. I love this card. Um, the 83 tops, it's just a great set. I, I don't even know why this got a six, to be honest with you, as I look at it. I, I'm, I have no idea why this got a six, but beautiful, beautiful card. Phil is a great guy. If you haven't seen his channel, if you think I have a nice unopened collection, you ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, this guy has got some killer, killer stuff. This guy opens stuff that I couldn't, that I would dream to just have in my collection. You know, he's opened 75 Tops rack packs. Really, really good stuff. He's got some impressive cello packs. Um, all kinds of stuff. So check out his channel if you haven't. Uh, really, really nice guy. He and I have been exchanging text messages uh, recently. And in addition to that, he sent me this 87 Tops rack pack to open on the channel. He told me he wanted me to open this on the channel, and so I'm going to do that. So Phil, thank you again, buddy. I appreciate it. Uh, I love baseball cards. Check out the channel. And in addition to that, I have some other stuff to open. I got a pack of 2020 update the other day at Walmart. This was the last baseball pack they had. Uh, and I have two packs of 2007 Bowman Heritage. So kind of going back a ways. So let's start with this 87 tops. Maybe we'll get a Bonds, who knows? That would be awesome. McGuire would be awesome. Bo Jackson would be cool. I'm just going to go through these quick so this video isn't a half hour. If there's a big hit, I will stop and talk about it. So it's 
it's nice when you meet when you meet people and they're just genuine people that love cards and love talking about cards. There's nothing better, and that's what's great about this hobby. The people are what make the hobby what it is. This is th these are pieces of cardboard. You know, it's the the people and the stories that go with uh, the the cardboard that make it what it is. So that's the first cell. On to the second cell. There's Kurt Gibson. I like the design of 87 Tops, but uh, this is a product that I absolutely have no qualms about breaking compared to some of the other 80s products because um, there's so much of it out there that it's it's really, you can just have fun with it and enjoy it. As you could, I could break 5,000 rack packs of this today and the market price probably isn't going to change very much. Oh, there's a Daryl Strawberry Mets Leaders. That's kind of cool. Um, it's out there. It's plentiful. So enjoy it. You know, they're cards. They're meant to be enjoyed. Let's see what we have here in the final cell. Trying to see. Yep. Similar to the, the last, uh, if you recall my video on collation um, that there's a similar structure to 87 tops as there is to 83 if you look at the bottom you'll see a you can't see the letter very well but there's an e and an asterisk that's the sheet that the card was from and so it's a you know this it's the uh up here it's up here on some of the other cards that says e so it's just a, it's a way to tell what sheet cards are from at least for um, uh, many of the years in the 80s. That's how you determine what sheet each card was, and that's how you uh, can analyze collation of rack packs. So if you haven't watched that video, give it a watch. I'm probably going to do another one of those videos soon. Uh, maybe a deep dive into 1985 Topps collation, something like that. There's Todd Gooden, someone who I think should have gotten more love for the Hall of Fame because he did have a, he had a period of dominance that was in some respects similar to Kopax's uh, period of dominance, which is why he's in the hall. I'm gonna save these 27 Bowman Heritage for last. Let's go ahead and open this 2020 update. Now I'm just gonna do this. I opened a bunch of this over uh, Christmas and actually the first pack I opened was a retail jumbo pack and I got a Bryce Harper relic, which is kind of cool. Verlander, there is the great lefty Clayton Kershaw, future Hall of Famer Buster Posey. Well, I won't go through all of these, their names, but uh, something shiny coming up here. I'm trying to avoid the glare. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, that's that's not bad. Is that numbered? Uh, no, not numbered. Okay. Well, Jason Kipnis. That's pretty cool. Number one draft pick. There's a Chipper Jones. That's kind of cool. Kyle Gibson. There's Trevor Bauer as a red. Willie Stargell, great power hitter. You do get a lot of cards in these jumbo hanger packs. I'll give them that. I don't know if there's a lot of value, you know, um, for the most part. You'd have to hit some. You'd have to hit a big auto or something to really have some value, or a short print. It's so like the fourth or fifth time I've gotten this Joey Votto card out of this product, and I haven't opened that much of it. <laughs> and Zach Greinke. So, got some interesting stuff there. The Kipnis, that's kind of a nice card. Now, for the finale, 2007 Bowman Heritage. This is a fun product. I like, I like Bowman Heritage a lot. There's a, a dealer on eBay who sells these 
in packs of two and lots of two at auction. Oh, I got an autograph. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's cool. Nolan Remold, Signs of Greatness. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but I hit an auto, so that's pretty cool. That's kind of neat. Huh. I guess you never know. And there is a Felix Hernandez. That's a cool card. What's interesting is that these are actually, some of these are modeled after Red Heart Dog Food. This is from a 1954 Red Heart Dog Food product is what this design is modeled after. So kind of a uh, kind of different. So first pack was a success, got an autograph out of it. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm just going to open it this way. You never know. Let's see what we have here. Whoa, and I got a relic in the second pack. <laughs> well, that was a success, I will tell you. Um, this is a Pieces of Greatness Tim Wakefield relic. That's pretty cool. Two packs and two hits. That's not bad. That's as good as it gets right there. Oh, wow. And a Josh Hamilton rookie card, who is now a, uh, I don't know if he's a convicted spousal beater, but he beat up on his children and beat up on his wife. So that will be, that card will be going in the trash. Uh, no need for that in my collection. Uh, that is it. That's all I have for you guys, but uh, not a bad little break. Got an auto and a relic. So pretty cool. A lot of fun. Thank you again uh, to Phil um, for the, from Phil, I love baseball cards. Check out his channel. Thank you for the rack pack and thank you uh, for the Ricky Henderson card. Very much appreciated. Hope you all have a great week. I'll be back soon with another video. Keep collecting vintage baseball.